So check this out guys, right now it is raining outside and as you can see it's also raining on the lock screen wallpaper. And yesterday when it was bright and sunny, the lock screen was showing this animation which kinda shows that it is sunny outside. This feature is called photo ambient wallpaper and it adds weather effects to your lock screen wallpaper which reflects the weather of the area you're in. To set this feature up, you want to head on into the settings, then scroll down to advanced features, inside tap on labs and then enable the photo ambient wallpaper feature. Once you enable this, head back to your home screen, pinch in and select wallpaper and style. Then tap on change wallpaper and from creative, select the photo ambient option. Now keep in mind this uses your local weather so you will need to give the location permission. Once you do, go back and pick a wallpaper for your lock screen from the gallery. And that is it. Now your lock screen wallpaper should reflect the current local weather. Now I've also noticed that this feature also adjusts the brightness of the lock screen wallpaper depending on the time of the day. So right now at the time of filming this video, it's night time and as you can see the lock screen wallpaper is quite dim. It's actually dimmer than the one on the home screen even though both of these are the exact same wallpapers. And during the day it's gonna be nice and bright. So that's awesome, I love this feature. Okay so next, here's what I want you guys to do. Drop down the quick settings panel all the way down and tap on the edit button. Now here, tap on quick settings instant access and enable this super useful feature. So this feature is gonna allow you to drop the quick settings all the way down with one swipe from the top right corner of the screen. So just like that. And swiping down from the middle of the screen will open the quick settings normally. So this is gonna save you one extra swipe. So I think everyone knows that Samsung phones have something called the edge lighting which lights up the edges of the screen whenever you get a new notification. And this makes the phone look really cool. However, you can take things further by customizing this. Like instead of lighting up the edges of the display, you can turn this into full screen effects like having floating stars which is my absolute favorite. Or how about having the phone display rainfall? That looks absolutely amazing, right? And heck, you can even set your own photos. Like here, I've set the picture of my dog. So you've got insane level of customization. Let me show you how this works. Alright, so to customize the edge lighting, you'll need to head on into the Galaxy Store and download the GoodLock app. Once you do, open it and look for the Edge Lighting Plus module. Once you find it, download and open it. Switch it on and head on into custom style. And here you're gonna find a couple of effects that play in full screen. So whenever you pick one of these, it will also change the lighting style from edge to full screen. You can also head on into colors and change the color of the effect from over here. Uh, make sure that color inter work is turned on to change the color. And lastly, you can head on into the advanced setting and tweak how the effect plays on the screen. Like selecting the water droplet option will make the effect look as if it is raining. So yeah, you've got plenty of settings and options to play around with. And you can even change the size of the effect, change the duration amount, and also turn on rotation. So you can really go ahead and customize as you feel like. Now, if you head on into the effects and then tap on the plus button, here you're gonna see more effects that you can use. However, the best part is that you can select your own photo from the gallery. So you can pick any photo of your choice and use it as the notification. But keep in mind that if you want it to look good, then you might wanna use a GIF or clip the image. Like this is a clipped image and it looks much better in full screen. And I have already shown you how to clip the images in my previous videos, but the way this works is you open an image that you want to clip in the gallery, then long press on the subject that you want to extract, and when you get these options, select save as image, and you can use the clipped image later as the edge lighting. Lastly, you want to go into the advanced and tweak some settings so that it looks good. 
Now the second option is quite interesting. This is gonna allow you to assign a different custom effect depending on a keyword. Like we can tell the phone to show us a different effect when the notification contains the keyword Charlie's. And after adding this, we can pick a different effect from here. You can even go as far as customizing the notification for that particular keyword. So check this out. When the phone gets a notification from Snapchat, it shows us the effect that we had set up earlier. But when I text using my other number, it's gonna show us the effect that we just set up for the keyword Charlie's. This is because we have set up a custom effect for whenever the notification contains the word Charlie's, which is saved as my contact on the phone. So using this, you can have a different style of notification for your family and friends. And lastly, enabling the show app icons instead of custom style will show the icon of the app which is sending you notifications. Like when you get a notification from WhatsApp, it's gonna show you the icon of WhatsApp and when you get a notification from Snapchat, it's gonna show you the Snapchat icon. So there you go. And finally, this option will play the custom effect only when the screen is off. So while the screen is on, you get the normal edge lighting. And when the screen is off, you get the custom effect. So yeah, you must absolutely download the Edge Lighting Plus module on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Did you know that you can stream whatever you're watching on your TV straight to your Samsung Galaxy smartphone completely wirelessly? It's like reverse screen mirroring. Let me show you how to set this up. Okay, so on your phone, drop down the quick panel and then tap on smart view. Here you want to select other device to phone. And if your TV is compatible, you'll see it over here automatically. Tap on it to start the reverse screen mirroring. Now sometimes you will get a prompt on the TV, so make sure to allow the connection. And there you go. So the thing is, I've got my PC plugged in, so we are seeing the screen of the PC on the phone. And you've got a few options on the phone itself, like you can switch off the TV's screen and continue watching live TV on your smartphone. So that is awesome. And to switch the TV's screen back on, tap the button once again. Then you can change the aspect ratio to fill the entire screen of the phone. Lastly, you can also change the input source of the TV. So the reverse screen mirroring is awesome. I absolutely love it. So a couple of days ago, the screen protector on my Galaxy Z Flip 5 started peeling off. Now unfortunately, this is something that requires a trip to the service center because they use a special device to change out the screen protector. And they'll also want the phone to be unlocked so that they can test out the touch functionality after swapping the screen protector. So the logical choice before dropping the phone off for service would be to do a factory reset because you don't want to give your phone to someone with your personal data on it. Well, here's the thing. Instead of doing a factory reset, I would suggest putting the phone in maintenance mode. To switch it on, you will need to go into the settings, scroll down to battery and device care. Inside, you will find the maintenance mode. So once you switch it on, this mode is gonna isolate all your personal data and it's gonna feel like the phone is back to its factory default settings. And you can also see that the gallery is completely empty. And so is the phone book. But all of the personal data is still on the phone, but it is completely isolated. Yet, the phone is fully functional and the service center guys will be able to do their diagnostics. Now, if you connect the phone which is in maintenance mode to a computer using USB, it is gonna show up but it's gonna be as if the phone is empty. And once the repairs are complete, you can exit the maintenance mode, which will require your biometrics or the pin. And after restarting, everything will be back to normal. Did you guys know that if you tap on the clock that appears on the lock screen, that opens up the lock screen widgets. So you've got the music player, weather, calendar, alarms, digital well-being, and the sound recorder widget that lets you record audio directly from the lock screen without unlocking your phone. How awesome is that? And if you want to customize these, tap on settings and you can turn them on and off individually and even change their order according to your liking. So I think these are extremely useful. 
So you might have a dating or a banking application that you might want to hide from the home screen as well as from the app drawer. It's actually very simple to hide apps. So pinch in on the home screen and head on into the settings. Now here you will find an option hide apps on home and apps screen. And from this list, just pick whichever apps you want to hide. So we have hidden Snapchat and you will see that it also disappears from the home screen as well as the app drawer. Now obviously this is not password protected. Anyone who knows their way around Samsung phones can find out. But still, I feel that this is a great privacy tool. So here's a tip for you guys. Did you know that you can add widgets directly from the app icons? Like for example, you want to add the calendar widget to your home screen. To do this, all you have to do is open the app drawer, then long press the calendar icon and tap on widgets and then add the widget that you like. And there you go. If you want to see a brand new stunning wallpaper every time you wake your phone up, then you might want to turn on something called the dynamic lock screen and this feature gives you some of the best high resolution wallpapers for your samsung smartphone let me show you how to set this thing up so pinch in on your home screen then tap on wallpapers now tap on change wallpapers and here scroll down to wallpaper services inside select dynamic lock screen and head on into its settings Okay, so here you have a couple of categories, so just select whatever you like. You can actually select up to 5 different categories and Samsung is gonna update these every few days. So this way you'll have a fresh lock screen wallpaper. And that's it. Now you can exit out of the settings. So now, whenever you wake your phone up, you will be greeted with a brand new lock screen wallpaper. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure that you hit the like button, share the video with your family and friends, and subscribe to the channel. And this is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.